Sports Tonight is back again. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Centre in Lagos, Nigeria. It's such a delight to have you join us to talk sports. Mustin, Okonakwa, an action packed, racy, pacey world of sports. What are you talking about? As we speak right now, Aaron Okwadri and Omar Asa are waiting to know their opponent when the draw for the main draw is done at the ITTF World Cup. That one uh, is taking place in Liege in Belgium. Aaron Okwadri lost one, 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 and made it to uh, the main draw. Same story for Omar Asa. Omar Asa got into beast mode, I must tell you, but he lost to a younger, to a lower ranked table tennis player but waiting to know what the main draw will produce and trust us this is where you get to know so walk with us also on the show tonight you know the story all of the talking points major talking points i must say that came out of the communique after the annual general assembly meeting of the nigerian football federation will also get us talking tonight match bonuses for the super eagles and the super falcons i knew that was going to get us talking a lot of debates out there uh, football for us in the country are talking to us. we understand if you take on the 17 out of the the mix but on the 20 on the 23 why no bonuses for them you guys are talking we will not ignore that discussion we'll talk about it tonight on this show francisca odega she got us talking also what does she do she completed a loan deal from Washington Spirit in the United States of America to uh, Spanish club Atletico do Madrid Femenino. I, I like that name. I've been speaking to Francisca Odega. And she's excited about that move. She will talk to us tonight on the program more. We will get to know when uh, she speaks to us on the show. Also on the program, we will take a look at everything you are talking about. Let's just leave it that way and quickly bring you into the discussion. Sports tonight on Channels TV, the Fun Factory. Uh, we do not but talk sports, our feedback mechanisms, I uh, will pop up now just in case you're just following this show for the first time. We don't just talk sports here, yeah. we do it with you. So talk to us, feedback mechanisms for you on Twitter, channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, I think sports. You can also send us an email to sports tonight at channels tv.com. A lot is going down. So uh, just to let you know that all our top stories can be viewed on our website. It's channelstv.com and on YouTube for slash channels web. Uh, if you're on the go, you can download the Channels TV app for uh, any of the devices that you soon see right now. Uh, for your iPad, your iPhone, your Blackberry, your iOS, your Windows phones. Just about any of those devices. Yeah, it's very easy. Log on to m.channelstv.com, download the app, and be part of what we're doing tonight on the program. Racy Pacy Action Pass all those But I don't want to waste time. I want to quickly put this baton in your hand so that that's Together we can run this race and win. That's right. It's a Friday night, so I was super excited to be here. Well, of course, with you. So wherever you are in the world, and maybe it's morning where you are. Good morning. It's afternoon. Good afternoon. If it's nice, come on, welcome on board. We're on the same atmosphere. Tolu, a lot more Tony. Uh, he's with us in the studio. Tolu, good to have you on the show. Great to be here as usual. Mm, uh, mm. It's another Friday. Great, great week it has been. Mm. Decisions, um, competitions. We have some winners. But then the one that got us talking hmm. was the decision. Hmm. I mean, how do you do that? Right. Under 17, acceptable. Under 20, well, maybe not. Hmm. Under 23, hell no. You don't really? do that. A no. live TV, totally. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Alfred Okwelegwe is also here. Alfred, good to have you on the program. It's a pleasure. Uh, very excited to be Austin, and as usual, every Friday. Mm. And um, just like uh, Tulu, Tulu mentioned there, I was just scratching my head to, to look at you know, that decision by Nigerian Football Federation. Mm. Um, you look at a player like um, Romelu Lukaku, before 21, how many times have you played for the Belgian national team? <laughs> you don't call the under 23 the development program. That's right. It's more like like a shadow national team. You can take your under 23. You can take it to say the ball ball in the national team. Go play for, mm. na, na, for, for, the, for the main team because whether you like it or not, there will be players in that setup that will play for the national, exactly. that the main, the first team of the national team. Now, how do you go about when you come and say, oh, no, my friend, I know you belong to this side of the divide, but now that you're here, we are treating you as a development uh, player. Mm. Tomorrow, you ask him to come play, he will tell you he has club commitment. I mean, motivation and all of that killed. Yeah, this guy is already, uh, you can feel from what they're saying, that it's going to be a hot, hot night of debate on the program. That's why you should join us. And if you see the way Tolo Moten is dressed, the other people to my wardrobe, <laughs> pick the check, and then decide to go with the hats. I have my boots on every Friday night. So, so it's a touch of both. Man, yeah? okay, let's, <laughs> let's get on with the show now. Talk about table tennis, fasten your seatbelt. There's a sports flight. We're going to Leeds in Belgium. Nigeria's representative, Aaron Okwadri, um, top ranked African table tennis player. 
arguably the best thing happening to table tennis in Nigeria at the moment is at the IWTF World Cup in Belgium. Let me tell you a story. Let's rewind time to 2014. That was when Arnold Quadri got to uh, the semi-finals of this competition, came out of it and became the ITTF star player of that year. From that time till today, Arnold Quadri hasn't looked back. Guys, another testament of a good, you know, experience for Arnold Quadri. Lost his first game today, used it to just get into it. Won the second one, is now into the main draw. Alfred, we're waiting for the draw to be done, but how much confidence do you have in this guy? I mean, when it comes to table tennis, we have an ambassador, what do you want at that? Uh, and the person of Aaron O'Quadri, he's proved over time and again that he can deliver at this level. He belongs to the very top. Yes, but maybe the drawback in his career is uh, losing the Lagos Open. Hmm. So what did he do? He went back hmm. to Poland, hmm. where, of course, you expected a bigger field. Mm -hmm. and won that competition. It just tells you that you know, yeah, this game of table tennis, if the knockout or the qualifying stage has been just maybe one game, this is the first game you're out of it. But mm -hmm. they know that sometimes in this game, it takes time for you to warm into, uh, you know, into the game, and that's exactly what happened. He fought back, fought very well. Today is in the right. middle, and um, mm -hmm. hopefully this evening we'll know his opponent and that's know right. the, 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 the progress he will make. But definitely this guy is one of the Asheri guys, ambassador of table tennis for the not only for Nigeria, for, but for the continent. I totally agree. Tolu, Alfred um, just said the story of what happened from the Nigeria Open. Okay. He lost out, you know, if I was a stunner when he lost yeah. to Bode Abiodun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We said, what's going on? Round of 16, I don't know, quarterly out by Bode Abiodun that is a lower ranked player than him. He went to the Bulgarian Open, got to the semis. He was so close, he lost it to a top player. Today, he even lost to the number 16 ranked player, but still made it to the main draw. He won the Polish Open. That's good motivation for him. Definitely. He will look back to that um, yeah. particular Open that he won. And remember that he is the first African to win an any Open outside the African continent. Also, he will not forget the 2014 performance at the World Cup where he was astounding. He defeated Malong along the way. Hmm. He was not just crowned the uh, ITTF star player. He was equ equally won the award for the star points for that 42-game rally I in the quarterfinals. Hmm. Aruna can look back to that year and say that was his breakout year, big time on the really, really big it. stage. Hmm. And you can see, he, he is looking so relaxed playing on, on today because... Somehow, the, the side, the goal is to get into the main draws and then fight as hard as he can. I think Africa has two great representatives in Aruna Kodri and Omar Asa. These two guys, the rivalry is on a different level That's entirely. Right. Right. And so we can expect the very best, not just from Aruna, but equally from Omar Asa. But of course, I look, I look, into this, uh, look at this and expect that Aruna will set a goal for himself. Look, mm. I think the minimum I would expect him to go in this tournament would be perhaps the quarterfinals because he has what it takes to go that far in a tournament this big. That's right. So that's it. We will uh, be monitoring that draw uh, in Liege, Belgium. When it's done, we'll tell you uh, the opponents for Omar and Arnold Quarry. Yes, that's how the guys were following. Top ranked table tennis players there, but uh, we're not worried. Let's see what Omar and Arnold Quarry can do.